Hi, I'm Justin Davis. And this is my story. Like many people growing up, I wanted to be a professional basketball player. My favorite players were Magic Johnson and Dr. J. When I came to Berkeley High, I was a 6'4 freshman. I was tall, lanky, and athletic. I knew I had the talent to play varsity basketball. It was just a matter of applying myself. When I tried out for the team, I knew I had to go out there and dominate everyone on the court. I did exactly that. The next three years, I focused on putting myself in the best position possible, athletically, but also academically, to reach the next level, college. For example, I was the only African-American male in my honors geometry class, and it was tough. I had to go to class every day early to get the extra tutoring that I needed, and I excelled. As a sophomore, I was leading the league in scoring and receiving all types of awards and accolades. By the end of my junior year, I was being recruited by all the top colleges. Duke, Michigan, Kansas, UCLA, Kentucky, even Stanford. It felt great. Going on visits, expensive dinners, lobster, steak. Even on one visit, I met Kobe Bryant. It was amazing. To get to the NBA, I wanted to go to the best basketball program possible. You know, as a young athlete and you're playing against the top talent, you automatically assume that the NBA is in your future. My parents considered this to be a false reality. They said that a college degree would take me further in life than basketball. They said I should go to Stanford because they had the best academics. I resisted at first because Stanford wasn't my first choice, but I eventually gave in and that's where I went. Going into Stanford, I knew I was in for a challenge. Here I was with the best and the brightest from across the world. The academics were beyond challenging. I was going to have to do a lot of extra work if I wanted to succeed. I spent extra time going to office hours and tutors. Once I adjusted to college academically, I was ready to shine on the basketball court and put on a show like I always done in high school. There is nothing better than coming home from a game and seeing a reverse dunk on the Sports Center top 10. That's when I felt like I finally arrived. The dream of playing college basketball was here. We all dreamed it, but none of my other friends from high school made it. Some of them didn't even make it to college at all. By my senior year, I was recognized as one of the top power forwards in the country. NBA scouts were coming to the games. The Grizzlies, the Knicks, the San Antonio Spurs, they were all here watching. But unfortunately, I had a knee injury and I was sidelined for eight weeks. But because of this injury and the extra time I had, I finished school a quarter early and was able to take graduate classes in education, an area of study that really interested me. When I finally got healthy, the regular season was over and the NCAA tournament was nearing. We lost in the second round and even though our season was over, I knew that my career wasn't. In preparation for the NBA draft, I was finding different cities worked out for the Knicks, Raptors, Warriors, Kings, and also the Nets. When the NBA draft finally came, I wasn't selected. It was a very frustrating and emotional period. Was this the end of my hoop career? What was gonna happen next? I wasn't ready to give up on basketball. So when the opportunity came for me to play professionally in Greece, I jumped at it. Through a lot of hard work in Greece, I played well enough to be offered a contract with the Golden State Warriors. 
The NBA experience was everything I expected and more. Traveling on jets, flying from city to city, playing against Ray Allen, Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant, it was awesome. However, things don't always happen the way you like. You learn that sports is a business and not a game. And shortly into the season, I was released. I knew that I could play in the NBA and I was willing to do whatever I needed to get back there. I went to Italy and played, Cyprus and played, and Germany and played. Unfortunately, Germany would be my last stop. I had a devastating knee injury that sidelined me. The doctor told me the chances of me coming back were slim. I didn't want to believe it, but I knew I had to accept it. So I started thinking, what happens next? This is for real. Then I started thinking about that degree I had in my back pocket and how I could apply it to making a future for myself. At that moment, I was so glad that I had taken my academics seriously every step of the way and had a degree from one of the best universities in the world. See, my mom was right when she told me that a degree would take me further in life than anything else, even further than basketball. So even though I'm not a professional basketball player anymore, I have a stable career, which is more than many of my friends. When you have that degree, you have a solid foundation. You have opportunities and options. After basketball, I bounce back. You never understand how powerful that degree is until you need it. I'm fortunate because I did need it and I had it.